Well, now it's time for a little experiment. Now, this is my favorite part because I get a lot of people that are skeptical when they come to my show, and you should be, right? So at this point, I need to borrow five gentlemen. I'm gonna leave it up to you. If I throw a piece of paper out or a ball, you're gonna think I've thrown it to a specific person. So I'm leaving it up to you. Five gentlemen, five gentlemen that'll come up here just for a few minutes, all right? So what you do is you wait until I tell you. Get up here. But I need five guys to think for themselves, okay? Make their own decisions. So ask your wives if you're allowed to do it. First five, one, two, three, four. We need one more. Who are we gonna get? Pick a number, guys. Just stand behind that number. We just need one more. Who's gonna be the last guy? Come on, you're gonna miss out on this or else I have to pick somebody. So do we have one last? Here he comes. Give him a round of applause, everybody. When you go up there, you can pick any number you want and that guy has to move, okay? Since you're the last one coming up here. We also need to borrow, to shuffle these. We need to borrow a lovely lady to come up here on stage. So let's see what we have. What are you doing? You're tying shoes, all right. Let's see who we have. Would you like to help me out? I've never really had anybody volunteer. Okay, give her a great big round of applause, everybody, right up here. You're doing great, you're doing great, you're doing great so far. Yep, you're taking the stairs like a pro. Yep, microphone right here is for you. I'm gonna move you over just a little bit. Right up there you go, what is your name? Michelle. Michelle, Michelle. Hold on to those, I don't wanna touch those anymore. Very good. Now Michelle, I have something for you. And it's these little cards. I'm gonna set them right here. Because right now, these guys are gonna start shuffling themselves up, picking different numbers. Whenever you say stop, they will stop on the number that they're standing by, okay? Start shuffling, guys. Whenever you're happy, you just tell them stop. It's totally your choice, your choice, your choice. Look at them. Stop. There we go. So go to the closest number there. Very nice. All right. I'm going to hand you these cards, and I'm going to give you these to shuffle up. Just go ahead and shuffle as we meet our gentleman. We have number one here. We have uh, contestant number two. Well, not really a contestant. You're not going to win anything. Three, four, and five. Just hold those envelopes in front of you there. Good job. What do you do for a living? I'm retired. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> what did you do for a living? Not much. Not much. <laughs> Always a pleasure to have a member of the government here with us. I stayed at home and raised my children. Oh, well, that's a lot. That's not much. That's a lot. All right, gentlemen, let's get to know our new friends here. We have number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Number one, what is your name? Armin? Like the hammer? All right. Number two, Steve? Number three, Scott? Number four, Mike? And number five, way down there at the end. What is it? Vinny. Vinny. Oh, I have a cousin named that. <laughs> Come on, who doesn't love a 1980s movie reference? I want you to look at these guys here. They look pretty interesting. We have a nice mix of guys up here. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know any of them? No. Nope. And let's just reiterate, we did not set anything up before this. Good. Let's get to know them just a little bit more. What do you do for a living? Armin. You're a pharmacist, all right. Pharmacist. And Steve? Auto repair. Oh, I didn't do that. And Scott? A what? Musician. Musician. What do you musish? Trombone. Oh, well, I used to play that in school, too. And uh, let's see. Who do we have? Mike? Oh, architectural. Oh, fancy. Architectural hardware. And lastly, Vinny. Finance. All right. Look at that group of guys. We got finance. We got a little bit of everything. Architectural. We got a little bit of everything. Which of these guys would you like to carry on a conversation with? All right, now you can think about it, or you can ask my daughter's little pet animal. I should tell you, my daughter came up with this trick with me, but she insists that we always bring her little unicorn. She's obsessed with unicorns, and she insists that we have it. So you can consult that, or you can just give me a number. Oh, um, give me a number, one, two, three, four, five. Which one seems the most interesting? Armin, Steve, Scott, Mike, Vinny? You, you can always four. ask, oh, number four, we have Mike. Architectural hardware. That seems interesting, yes. Now, I had you shuffle those up, right? I did. I want you to just hold them up in front of you. What do we have? Oh, red. Number four. Let's see. 
Inside this envelope, there is one piece of paper. One piece of paper inside each envelope. You can see there's one. Go ahead and pull that out for me, sir. Oh my God. Yeah, not bad. It's a perfect match, right? But they're not clapping very loud because it's a one out of five chance. And they're thinking, oh, that same color is in every single envelope. Peek inside, gentlemen. Make sure you do not have a red card. No red cards? No? Very good. Now, my daughter came up with this, as I said, and if you asked her which of these was her favorite color, she would name one specific one. Which one do you think she would name? White. Give me the number. Oh, the number? Yeah. Two. Number two. And you also said? White. White. Hmm. Now, let me tell you that my daughter, hold those for a second. Sure. My daughter marks everything in our house. She loves to draw on everything. She wants to be an artist someday. She marks everything. Inside, there is not only one card, it happens to be white, and turn it around, she marked it. I like white, love Cassie. It's freaky, isn't it? But we've kind of backslid a little bit. That's a one out of four chance, right? Yeah. But you're thinking, oh, they all say that on the back. Does yours say I like red? No. no. The other gentleman, just peek inside. Just take your fingers, peek inside. There should only be one card, yeah? Pull it about halfway up about halfway out so they can see what colors you have. I'm gonna take your envelope away. Go ahead and hold on to the color. Good, I'm gonna take your envelope, hold on to the color. Take your envelope, hold on to the color. Very good, there's nothing written on any of those, right? Good, because something weird has happened up here as well, right? What you're gonna tell me. What am I gonna tell you? That all of these are in the order. Did you the know colors. the order? No, you, you've just been shuffling. Yeah. Let me see what you have. Oh God. <laughs> Let me see, what do we have here? Well, we're close, we have blue, white, oh, green. No, you're, you're a little bit off. I was a little off. You were a little off, but you tried, okay? Don't be too hard on no, yourself. Okay. No, just do better next time. Thank you. Um, here's what I will tell you, is that you shuffled not just the cards. If you remember, you shuffled the gentleman. Correct. Gentlemen, can you reach down and pick up the numbers? The audience can't see, you're standing on a number. Go ahead and lift it up, show them what number you're standing on. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah? You shuffled the, that. I, I did. It's harder to shuffle people. I told them. Turn around the cards. Blue, white, green, red, yellow. I'd say she's a perfect match. One second, gentlemen. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. We're gonna take it a step further. I can't wait. You can't wait. <laughs> It's a little freaky, isn't it? It's a little freaky. Now, I call this coincidence or influence, but there's no way I influence I you. I always say to my husband, how do they do that? I know. I say that, too. Yeah. <laughs> but see, I didn't do it. My daughter did this. In fact, before I ever came on the ship, before I met, where are their names again? We have them right here. Before I met Armand, Steve, Scott, Mike, Vinny, remember, she sent me with her unicorn. And on that unicorn, you can see there's a little collar that's etched with a little number with letters on there. Can you read the letters? A F F M V. They're, they're etched right on there, right? A S S M V. Armand, Steve, Scott, Mike, and Vinny. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for everyone that helped us out up here.